In the Department of Glass Technology at Sheffield University, Britain possesses a splendid research foundation supported by British and Dominion glass manufacturers and the university authorities. The originator of the department, which was the pioneer of its kind in the world, is Professor Turner, to whom tribute is paid by glassmakers all over the world. Students come here from many countries. In these well-equipped laboratories, the problems of glass are studied scientifically, and the results quickly conveyed to manufacturers through visits of Professor Turner and his staff and through the Society of Glass Technology, a pioneer body with membership throughout the world. Here, a specially heat-treated safety glass windscreen is being tested. First, a bending test for pliability. Then the safety glass is tested for resistance to smashing by dropping a metal ball on it from a height of eight feet. This it easily withstands. The height is increased until the ball, dropping from 12 feet, smashes the glass which then collapses into harmless, many-sided grains having no cutting edges at all. Britain manufactures glass jars and bottles on a very large scale. Here we see a pressure test on bottles sent in by the manufacturers. Products are regularly tested at the works. The laboratories at Sheffield make control tests and report back to the manufacturers. The purity of the raw materials is also carefully checked by chemical analysis. Sand must be tested to ensure that it can be made suitable for the manufacture of fine glass. Britain has many deposits of sand, one of them as pure as any in Europe. She is the first country in the world to have carried out the purification of sand on a large scale by chemical washing. 